Hello, N4H and H here with the Yesu FT891. I want to cover just a quick tip here. This was prompted by a question. So, first of all, what is the blue light? Well, in CW mode, uh, you want that blue light to light up as solid as you can get it. I have covered this in another video, but I just want to explain that right quick since I'm going to be talking about the LED again. Uh, let me tune in. Let me find a station. Wow, pretty strong station there. I'm going to press the zero in button, which will adjust the VFO to whatever frequency it needs. Look at that light. Okay, now I'm going to go into the function menu. I'm going to turn on intercept point optimization. With a signal that strong, I do not need an uh, RF amplifier. Okay, so uh, now I want to show you here. Pitch. Is it 600 hertz? So that's what I want my side tone to be, the CW pitch. And so what's happening with the Zen... You see it's in there too, but I've got it assigned to my A key. Notice the Zen. But what I've done is I've, I've uh, if you go to put the arrow on Zen, you can long press either one of these keys and assign it to one of the keys. So, you know, I use it often enough that I've got it assigned to the A key. Long press function to get out. All right, and uh, so watch. You just tap it and it will, let me move it a little bit. Okay, watch. It's going to adjust my receive frequency. In other words, if the other station's a little bit off frequency and yet I want a 600 hertz tone, the receiver is going to move. Because you see, when you move the VFO, you change their pitch. But I want 600, so zero in. There we go. Uh, you got to make sure you tap it while they're sending, by the way. So it's got something to lock onto. So the more you get that light to go blue, that's indicating that you have indeed locked onto the proper frequency to give you 600 hertz tone. So if it's not on a perfect zero, 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 it just means they're a little bit off frequency, okay? So now that we've got that covered, let me get into the meat of the video. So uh, sometimes people say, well, I'm not getting any transmit uh, on my radio. People can't hear me. So I'm going to um, switch over to a dummy load. And um, now I'm going to get out of CW because I've just got the hand mic hooked up. I don't have a, a Morse paddle or anything hooked up. So I'm going to go into memory mode, which I do that by tapping my multi knob. See MT up there? It seems, that means memory tune. going to tap it until this is on MT again. And then I can rotate my multi knob and I'm back in memory mode. See? So here is a sideband frequency. Watch the LED when I transmit. Solid. Now, watch what happens if I, I'm gonna, let me put the, I'm gonna tap the fast button here so I can move quickly. Now watch what happens if I go outside of the amateur band and try to transmit. That's a subtle warning to let you know you're outside of uh, the amateur radio bands. Now, again, I can be anywhere I want to, and if I want to return, I just tap my multi knob. It moves me back to MT, which is memory tune, letting me know, hey, you tuned away from my memory. Now I rotate it, and it puts me right back into uh, memory mode. So if, if you're not sure you're getting output, and I want you to notice right here, it says SWR. Barely moving. I'm, I'm transmitting into a dummy load. I leave my metering on SWR just so I can quickly catch if I've got a situation going on, you know, with a high SWR. Now I'm going to go into the function menu and tap it and tap it and tap it and tap it. And there's MTR for meter. Now I'm going to press that in to turn it off and I'm going to press it again to make a selection. Okay, there we go. I'm going to move it over to power out PO. Now See, it says P-O. Hello. N4, H and H. Hello, hello. Now, you may be wondering, well, how come that's not going over to 100? 
Well, for one thing, this is not a peak reading meter, but let me show you why. I'm gonna long press the function key and go into the big menu, okay? And I'm gonna go way up here to the, past the EQs, there's where you set your parametric EQ parameters for without the processor, PEQ, parametric EQ parameters with the processor, and here we go, HF power. So you'll notice that I've got my HF power for sideband set at 25 watts. That's because I use this radio uh, mountain topping for some it's on the air or carried in a backpack. So I'm expecting 25 watts, okay? But let me go ahead and run it all the way up to 100 for sideband. You see you got separate settings for AM and where it says HF power here, that's a little bit confusing, but that controls CW power, okay? Just think of it that way. If you wanna adjust the power out on CW, it's just simply HF power. This is HF SSB power. Now I'm just gonna single tap function to get out of there. Still set on power out, going into my dummy load. Hello, hello, now we're pushing right at 100 watts. <whistles> hello, see what I mean? Now, so if you're concerned that you're not getting any power out, put the metering on PO, go into the big menu here, and make sure you're, if you're doing SSB, make sure it's on 100 if you wanna make sure you're getting 100. And to say, if you're on CW, you wanna make sure you move HF power over to 100. See, I've got it minimized right now to 15. Again, because I use this radio uh, backpacking and they're running on a battery. So again, a single tap and I'm out. Hello, hello, hello. So you wanna see a solid red light and you wanna see the meter jumping over like that to indicate that you are getting power out. If that's not happening and you're not getting a blinking light indicating you're out of bounds, then uh, yeah, there is a possibility that, well, there's two things that could happen. One is you're transmitting into a high SWR. I'm not, I'm on a dummy load. But what will happen is the radio has what's called a fold back circuitry and it'll start lowering your power output to try to protect the final output transistors that produce that 100 watts. Uh, but up to a point, I mean, if the SWR is really, really bad, if the antenna is, you know, just in, in terrible shape, not matched close enough that the radio can even deal with it, you know, at some point, it's going to keep trying to roll it back, but if you just keep plowing through and trying to make it work, uh, eventually you can damage the final output transistors in the uh, transceiver, and of course, uh, it would then have to go in for repair. Fortunately, Yesu provides a three-year warranty on these, but, uh, you know, within reason, um, if they detect that you've been abusing it, then I'm sure they would void that. But that's how you would check power output. Hello, hello, hello. Now, I like I said, I'm gonna go back to the function button, press meter, it turns it off, tap it again, brings it back into selection. And I always leave mine on SWR so that, hello, 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 I can tell if I've got an antenna mismatch. Uh, I'm gonna put it on the antenna a second. And tune, tune where I don't hear anything and okay. Now watch the SWR meter this time, N4 H and H testing. Well, <laughs> I'm transmitting into my ZS6 BKW. That thing is resonant on 40 meters all the way across. Uh, let me, I'll transmit into my off-center fed dipole. N4 H and H testing. Okay, there we go, 1.5 SWR, which is about right for an off-center fed, 80 meter off-center fed dipole on 40 meters. You know, it gives you uh, resonance on 40 and 20 and 17 and 12 and 10 and 6. So again, I'm reading S units right now, but this is indicating that when I transmit, I'm going to then read SWR in 4H and H testing. All right, so back to the dummy load. And um, I hope that cleared everything up for you who may be wondering a little bit about how to, you know, that's just some initial troubleshooting that you can do on your own to be sure you're getting output from the radio. Say, so, as a reminder, remember this. If you're trying to transmit outside of the boundaries of the amateur bands, you're gonna get a blinking red light and, and you won't get a power out indication, even if you are set for power out. Watch what happens when I drop right down into the amateur band. N4 H and H testing. Now that's into the dummy load, but you can see I got a solid red light. And one more time, function button, 
until I see MTR. There we go. And then change it to, whoop, you got to be quick about it. <laughs> change it to PO. I'm usually quicker about it, but I'm talking at the same time. And then long press function to get out of the function menu in 4H and H testing. See, now it's showing power out. If you're getting all of that then and people can't hear you, then you've got a problem um, with your antenna. And that's why I would say, well, then what you're going to want to do is do what I do and leave that on SWR. Long press to get out. And now if you say in 4H and H testing and this meter is going way up, there's your problem. It is your antenna. You've got a severe mismatch. Okay, I hope someone found this helpful and informative. Uh, thank you to my Patreon team. I, I, some of you I know hate to hear me say that, but if without the Patreon team, I could not justify the time to do this. So they, they absolutely deserve a shout out uh, for helping keep this channel going. So I do want to thank the Patreon supporters. And if you like this channel, you like this type of uh, content, just straight to it. Let's look at the rig, see what we need to do. Then, you know, feel free to show that support by joining the Patreon team at www.patreon.com, patreon.com. Three levels of participation there. Associate, executive, and VIP. The executives and VIPs, you have access to some exclusive content not available to everyone else. One of the more popular uh, things uh, would be the menu and optimizations document for this radio here. I've got one for the FTDX10, the FT991A, and the FTDX 5000 MP. It goes through my menu optimizations for these radios and even what all of those buttons and knobs do and how I combine them to do uh, wonderful things that these radios can do these days. So those are available to executive and VIP Patreon supporters. And, and finally, please, if you would like the video, that helps. doesn't cost you anything. Just tap that like uh, button, give it a thumbs up, and uh, consider subscribing to the channel. If you do subscribe, please click that bell, that notification bell, so you will be notified when I upload another video. Usually one a week, sometimes two a week. Okay, hey, thanks for watching. And 73 from N4 H&H. &H.